guys welcome back to the channel it's your girl just playing so today's video is about um the response that queen gave um about this whole situation that has been going on with her best friend y'all already know and yeah her response was given on snapchat if you guys don't follow her on snapchat she posted it like a couple hours ago and most of you guys started just sparing my snapchat telling me to you know speak on it and tell you guys what i think about it um by the way i know you guys are not usually used to see me with the hat because i'm on my way to um a quick school meeting so i didn't really want to do my hair and do all that so i just called over my hair and put my hat on so yeah uh, and i'm actually liking it i feel chill basically um yes guys but before we start don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below if you're not subscribed also comment down below any type of video you would like me to talk to any type of video you would like me to react to next and i'll make sure i do so and um yes guys once again thank you so much for all the new subscribers and also the old ones i'm really really grateful guys the end of the month is coming like today is the 28th and the goal was to reach 3,000 subscribers by the end of the month or by the beginning of next month so i still have faith i actually wasn't going to say this on this video because i feel like it's not going to be it's not going to happen but i still do have faith that we can do it g squad the best squad we're coming up okay um so yeah let's get right into this video okay because i feel like queen actually like said certain things that were right but i disagree with some of them i already watched it so now i'm gonna let you guys watch it on the full screen okay okay y'all so obviously uh, i've been putting on my snaps that i had something to say which i do and at first i wasn't going to address these things but i feel like when it gets to a point where your character is being like damaged or like somebody really just trying to make you out to look like this person that you really not it's time to speak up for yourself and i feel like a lot of things you know are meant are better left unsaid but at this point it's like i just can't keep letting people just lie on me about certain things so with that being said here i go i'm about to tell y'all how i feel and i'm about to tell y'all my side so i have a couple of friends that i used to be cool with back um a few years back and um both of them i guess decided to come out during the crazy time of um all this stuff happening with me and chris and make some exposing videos about me and basically, basically they're making these exposing videos saying that when i did youtube i changed up and i switched up on them and that is a that's the very first lie they told first off I I cut these girls off because I seen a snake in them. Bef this was before I even started YouTube. One of the girls, I, I cut her off because every time we fell out, she will always put my business on social media. Like, she will always put everything I ever told her on Facebook. And I kept forgiving her time after time after time. But she kept doing it every time she got mad at me. So I felt like that wasn't a real friend. Real friends don't... It, whatever you tell your real friends... They never supposed to tell your business no matter how mad they get at you. I just feel like that wasn't the right friend for me. And she was there for CJ's birth and everything. But even but after that, once I, you know, start paying more attention to my family and trying to get myself together and my family together, she got mad and felt like I was pushing her away, but I really wasn't. So basically she felt like I was being distant towards her since I was trying to build my family and I had just got married and I had, you know, just had a baby. And so she started feeling some type of way. So, you know, I told her that I didn't forget about her, but I just, you know, needed time because I wanted to build with my family and stuff. And she was still single and stuff like that, so she didn't really understand it. So she started venting to Facebook and everything. And I noticed that, like, she just started being real shady on Facebook, like, throwing shots at me and stuff like that and then she blatantly just started to tell my business so i just started like i just i just noticed that she kept doing it over and over again i stopped messing with the girl so that particular friend i did not switch on her switch up on her just because i started youtube let's just get that straight she also lied on one of the videos and said that i begged her to get my baby a crib because i didn't know how i was gonna get it that was a lie right there when I had my baby shower, she didn't. She only brought one gift. So she, so she asked me, was there anything else that I needed or anything else that I wanted from her? And at the time, she was my friend. So I was like, okay. So I was like, I want to pack and play for CJ. And those are the little 
um, play pens with the little bassinet and everything in it. So she bought one for me for $129. So in the video, since, uh, since she want to say that she spent like over $1,000 and all of this money for me, my child and I just up and left her that didn't happen she offered me a gift for my baby shower and I accepted it and if you gonna throw up a gift from a baby shower in somebody's face then that, that's not a true friend either like I don't care you don't throw up a gift in somebody's face and say oh give me my money back so um yeah this girl she come she she out with an exposing video whatever saying I changed up on her and stuff like that and that was one of the things she lied about another thing that she lied about which pissed me off so bad Bro, she lied and said that um, I used to call her in the middle of the night asking her for freaking snacks and food because Chris wouldn't buy it because Chris wouldn't give me snacks. Chris always made sure I stayed fed when I was pregnant. Let's just get that straight. Second off, she lied. She lied, y'all, about her coming to get me in the middle of the night because Chris beat on me. That was a that was a damn lie, bro. And that's that's what pissed me off the most because now you may with my household and you could have like cps or something come over here because you want to sit up here and lie and get some attention first off i never call her up saying chris beat me or he put his hands on me i never call her up saying that me and chris got into an altercation an argument and her and my mom was listening by the door and they they knocked on the door to get me out the apartment because they they were scared that something was gonna happen because it was my first apartment so they lingered around whatever and basically, they heard us arguing. No physical altercations ever went down between me and Chris. And I never, ever call her up telling her to come get me from that. Like, that was... And then we got the other girl. The other girl I used to be friends with. She made a video talking about the same stuff. And I'm trying to... I'm starting to think maybe they planned this. Like, because they both know each other. I'm starting to think maybe they planned this out. Because... If this wasn't for clout and if you weren't trying to bash me and if you were just trying to reach out to me and get my attention, then why would you be trying to make a petition to get me off YouTube? And why would you be trying to sit up here and make your own YouTube channel off of this because you figure out that you got little views? Like, the other girl, she made a video talking about, <clears throat> I caught her saying that, I caught her crying with CJ in the background saying that, um, Chris hit me in the head with a, a shoe. How the hell do that sound? First off, if me and Chris ever got into an altercation or an argument, I would never call my friends or my family because I didn't want everybody in my business. Point blank, period. So that was a lie right there. The other girl was lying too. Another thing that this girl lied about. Which, now this is what really got me and what really pissed me off. <clears throat> she lied and told everybody on YouTube or whatever on her live video however she she lied and said that I used to cry to her saying that I got molested by my stepdad like how sick minded can you be to sit up here and lie about somebody being molested people actually go through this every day and you want to lie about somebody getting molested by their stepdad she could have messed up a lot of things for my brother and sister because my brother and sister live with uh, my mom and their dad, which is my stepdad. She could have messed up a lot of things for them and, like, just to be sitting up here lying about stuff like that. Like, that's that's crazy and that's sick. I mean, you could have chose a better lie. You don't have to lie about stuff like that to prove that me and you were friends. You have pictures and you have, you know, you have pictures of us like that. That's how you can prove we were friends. But to sit up there and make up personal stories that I told you just to prove that me and you had like a, cro a close relationship. Saying that I got, that I used to tell you I got molested by my stepdad. That was just way beyond and that's over the top. If that, like that didn't happen. But say if that did happen, what kind of, think about it y'all. Think about how fake this is. What kind of friend would tell anybody that? Why would you go live saying, telling your friend's business like that? That's crazy. Even though it's not true. But that show you right there where your loyalty is. That just show you right there why I cut you off in the first place. Now, I cut this girl off, the second girl, because she called my mama and lied to my mom saying stuff, um, I'm not going to go into all that, but basically, she was basically lying about some serious stuff with Chris and CJ that could have got, you know, us in a lot of trouble, and I called her up and I asked her, why did you lie to my mom? I called her up and I said, why would you lie to my mom about this? Like, why would you do that? 
And she was like, she had a real snobby, nonchalant attitude. Like, well, it probably is happening and this and that. So from there on, I said I was done with her. I said, I, I'm, I'm done. I cut her off because I can't have people around me like that. Y'all, I would never just cut nobody off because I'm coming up. Like, that's crazy, y'all. I mean, I've been, in, I've been in points where I needed to find my next meal. I've been to a point where I didn't have my own place. So I know how that feels to not have nothing. So why would I turn on somebody just because they don't have nothing? Think about it. Why? I'm not that kind of person. And I hate it that a lot of people are just, you know, listening to this nonsense and like really believing that this is the person that I am. I'm not this kind of person. That's crazy. And I just had to speak out about it because, like, how much can I take? Get it that they were probably mad or hurt at the fact that they would try to reach out to me um, when I started YouTube and I wouldn't reach out back to them. Like, I wouldn't respond to them. And they probably feel like I just changed up. But did you forget that we fell out and that I? cut you off before YouTube even started like and I feel like I I have the the choice to pick and choose who I want to be friends with in my life and I feel like everybody else can make their own decisions and choices so why can't I you know I don't just cut people off for no reason y'all it's a reason somebody have to really do like a lot to me and I forgive people a lot but you really got to do something bad to me or you got to just keep doing something over and over again for me to just finally be done with you. And I just didn't want them as friends. And I feel like I'm not wrong for that. Like we were cool. We were really cool at a point. But once I found out that they was once I found out that they was doing real snaky and shady stuff, it's just like I didn't want nothing else to do with them. And I just feel like there's nothing wrong with that. You can't trust females out here. Y'all see it. Like, look what they doing to me now. Like, look at all the lies that they telling on me, how they just really trying to make me look bad as a person and trying to get people to, like, really just hate me, y'all. Like, that's not a real friend. A real friend from the jump wouldn't do that. I don't care how um, how mad you are or how, how much you're trying to get somebody's attention. You, you never do something like that. And you never lie about the things you lied about. Like, that stuff was serious. And you got people out here really really believing that I did these things and this stuff happened to me and it didn't. It's like just messing up everything and I had to speak out about it. It's just so bold and so hurtful. I mean, come on, like when can I catch a break? Like I'm already trying to heal from this cheat and stuff and stuff like that. People already think, you know, everything's fake. Then, then everybody calling me dumb. Like, I mean, I get it. People got their own opinions and stuff like that and people gonna say what they want to say. So I can't stop that. But for this to be on top of that and now people really think I'm just like this bad, terrible person, like off of some lies that these girls told about me, I can't believe it. Like it's it's really messing with me. And if I keep it inside and just hold it in, it's gonna mess with me. And like, I just really don't want people to think that I'm that kind of person because I'm not. And I know a lot of people like, Queen, you don't need to explain yourself to people, but I feel like I do now because almost every every comment under my Instagram pictures are so mean and so cruel. And it's just like, it feel like everybody hate me now for, for you know, a, a decision I made and for some lies that some old friends told, some old fake friends, bro. It even got to a point where I said I was going to stop posting videos on my channel, my YouTube channel, because I felt like everybody already, like, didn't like me anymore because of what these girls said and because of everything else that's been going on and how they think this stuff is fake and everything it's just a lot of pressure you know and but I can't I can't let that break me I can't let it break me I gotta keep pushing but it was just really hard and it, it still is hard and I have a lot of healing to do and I hope that somebody see this and and put this out because I need people to hear me out like I really I really want people to hear my side because it's two sides to every story and it's the truth and what I'm telling is the truth I'm not lying to y'all like this stuff really this stuff really happened. Like, this stuff really... These girls were lying on me. That's crazy. That's crazy. And another thing one of the girls lied about <clears throat> and said in the video was that I just left my mom and my family and my sister and brother. I just left them without anything. Like, that's not true. Like, you don't... Like, you may have helped my mom out when she lived in Detroit, but my mom don't even live in Detroit no more. She lives in a different state. 
And anytime my mom asks me for anything, I make sure she have it. I never, never let my family starve or go hungry or want for anything. And I'm not rich right now, y'all. I'm still working to the top to make sure my family going to be good. So I would never just leave my sister, my brother, my mom stinking out there. I would never do that. That's not me. I'm not that kind of person. I don't let money get to me. I don't let fame get to me. I don't care about this, bro. I don't care about this. Like, I love doing YouTube. And YouTube, you know, of course, is my job. Just like everybody else got a 9 to 5. It's my job. But this, I don't want to let this break me and, you know, define who I am this is not money and fame is not who I am and then I watched a, an interview she had with some with some other youtuber and she was just saying that she did all this to get my attention like why would you go this far like <clears throat> if somebody don't answer you why not just move on why not just move on obviously you did something to me where I don't want to talk to you anymore I don't want to be your friend you can't fault me for that why are you trying to reach out? And, and now I know that this is just for clout because now you, you even try to make your own YouTube channel off of this. You noticed that you had got some views off of this and somebody reposted you. So now you try to make your own YouTube channel off of what you said about me. That's crazy, bro. The crazy thing is I watched this girl live video that was put on YouTube and she's sitting up here crying with these, with these fake cow tears. I don't know where they came from but maybe that was real tears y'all but i should be the one crying because you're lying on me how are you gonna cry and lie on somebody at the same time like how the hell are you gonna do that i should be the one crying because you're trying to mess up everything i got bro it's always people after you when you're trying to come up and when you're trying to do better like it's just it's just bold like it's crazy so with that being said i hope i explain everything to y'all i hope y'all in the clear now about all this stuff that was being said, all this drama, y'all. I'm I'm literally drained. Like I'm tired of this. I just want to go back to making fun videos and vlogs and doing what I've been doing without people trying to knock me down all the time. Without people praying on my downfall. I'm I don't you know I don't mean to sound like T Grizzly, but that's really how I feel. These niggas out here really praying on my downfall. They they really want me to fall so bad. Like they really want everything that happened good in my life to reverse. How is that a real friend? How? If you see a, if you see your friend come up, you should never try to uh, pull that person down to where you are. It's not my fault that you are still where you are and I'm here. I can't help it that God blessed me. I can't. I can't help that. And for the record, I don't hate you. I don't hate neither of those girls. I love both of those girls. I do. Because we were friends at a point. I still love them and I forgive them for what they been lying on me about and doing to me. And... You know, you can forgive somebody, but still just not be their friend and not deal with they miss. You know? And y'all may be like, oh, well, you forgave Chris. Why can't you forgive them? I do forgive them. I forgave Chris as well, and I'm just giving it another shot. And I'm seeing if he really going to, you know, do what he said. And I will learn, you know, if this is a mistake or not. But right now, I have faith and I have hope. And y'all should let me have hope and have faith. Y'all shouldn't be on here bashing me. If y'all, you know, really care about people's feelings and stuff, y'all shouldn't be on here bashing me because of a decision I made. And I'm going to just roll with, you know, my heart. I'm going to follow my heart. So as most of you guys saw, um, Queen stated the fact that she um, was actually close with those girls. So for those that came up and was like fake friend, I mean, um, they were really not friends. And the fact that she mentioned before that they were associate, I'm like, sis, are you lying or what's going on? Cause I thought she said that they were associate, that they were just associates. Now she's saying that they were close friends. So I'm like, what is it? Like, which one is it? And yeah, also the fact that she said, um, the girls mentioned that she was molested and it was a lie. If it's actually a lie, then that's really, really messed up because you don't lie about things like that, you know? Especially the fact that um, her siblings still live with her stepdad, which, are the, which is their dad. They can actually get in so much trouble and her herself can get in so much trouble with her family. So if it's a lie, then that's really, really not cool. But then again, I'm thinking, why would they lie about something like that? You know, maybe it's certain things that she didn't want to talk about with her family and they messed up by blowing it out. So 
yeah and she just want to keep it on the low she just wanted to keep it on the best friend level because you know there's certain things that you don't share with your family members there's certain things that you just share with your close friends or best friends you know so i feel like that's that was one of those things that's why she's denying it but again i also feel like those girls they have to bring that out like i mentioned in my other videos if you haven't watched them watch them check them out i'll put it and set some card up up somewhere here to show so you guys can go ahead and check those videos out i also mentioned the fact that mentioning the her being molested by her stepdad was not right like that's not okay okay because that's that's a sensitive topic like even if she was molested that should have never been brought up like okay she can expose her with all the Chris and Chris doing this, Chris doing that, but pushing it to the point of molest, like where she was molested, was kind of pushing it too far. And in in my opinion, so that's what I think. Um, what else? And I still think that she should reach out at least to those girls and tell them that okay, I I don't have any problem with you. I just think we should both move on with our lives. At least say, like to have a closure. You guys know what I'm saying? Because I don't like ending a friendship without having a closure like i want to know what's going on like what's up i don't want to see you on the street and think i can still say hi to you or i don't want to see you on the street and think i can still have a conversation with you when it's not the case you know in your head so i feel like she's still reach out to those people to those girls and tell them okay we are cool i don't have any issue with you but then let's move on with our life also i'm happy that um she brought up the fact that the girl created a youtube for her because she was for her basically for queen so she can get clap for queen from chris and queen one whole time it shows that the girl been having youtube and the girl actually has a, a video on her youtube channel when uh, queen was pregnant and like, going through labor and all the stuff and she was at the hospital waiting for baby chris so I've, and that was posted like two years ago 2015 so i'm like she didn't just create a channel like that been there that video has been up there so i'm like Queen, get your facts right as well. But um, yes, guys, like I told you guys on this channel, we, we don't have time to pick sides. I tell you guys how I feel, what I would do, and what I think about the topics. And you guys just do so on the, um, in the comment section down below. And, I, and you guys already know, whenever people don't agree with me, I tell, you, I tell them why I said what I said, if I didn't make myself clear on the video. And then we, we find a point of understanding. Like, I don't have time to pick sides and say, this person is wrong, this person is right. I say what I feel. Is going on and I tell you guys you know both side who did wrong who did right so you already know we do nothing but tell the truth on this channel so that's all I'm doing for you guys so guys thank you so much for watching this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up also don't forget to comment and subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed like what are you doing we are trying to reach 3,000 subscribers like come on hit that subscribe button you're not losing anything it's free 99 like free 99 who doesn't like free stuff because i do thank you guys so much for watching once again and i'll catch you guys on my next video bye guys